Hey everyone, this is Carla Rebecca. Today I'm going to be working on a shaker card. It's actually my very first shaker card and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So I am using the Hero Art stamp set today. It doesn't have a name with it. It just has Hero Art CL438. So I guess that's the code for this stamp set. It's Let's Chill, Fun in the Sun. And I thought it would be a really great stamp set to kind of do a beach and water look with little fishy swimming. So hope you guys like it, enjoy. So to start off my card, I'm just positioning my stamps kind of where I want to have them. I did want to have a palm tree with the crab on the land, but I wanted a fish in the water. So I really needed to make sure that I was positioning everything properly so I would have that space. Now, because I don't have any masking tape, and, and especially if you don't have any masking tape, this is something you can do as well. Have a general idea of where you want your layout to be on your, on your card. And if you do have something that's dividing the, the background up. So in my case, I had the little island, which was going to be dividing up the sky and the water part. So what I decided to do was just cut out on another watercolor paper that the island in that shape that I wanted and I would just be coloring that separately and placing that on top of my actual card to be able to hide any of any of the overlap of the of the sky and the water. So I'm just going to turn on some music and I'm going to speed up through the coloring process of the island, the background and the little creatures.
just positioning the sand over top of the card between the water and the sky, right where I wanted it, where I'd originally planned, and just using some double-sided tape to get that on there. I did leave it a little bit bigger because I wasn't sure how I was going to place it, so now I'm just cutting off the excess of it and then placing my objects. I wanted the tree and the crab on top of the land and the fish just swimming out in the water. So I'm using some foam adhesive for the images. I wanted them to stand up a little bit, give it a little bit of dimension. rectangle die cuts and I'm definitely going to be getting some because it makes your life a whole lot easier but if you don't have them as well what you can do is just measure out so if you don't have them what you want to do is measure out the width that you want on the border of your cardstock and then using your cutting board or an or an exacto knife if you have that you can just cut right on top of the paper but never actually making it all the way to the edge just follow your lines that you did and like that you can make your own border. Now I left mine a little bit too thin. I left it at a quarter of an inch. I found that to be way too small. So I definitely recommend using at least half an inch. I put foam adhesive on the back of the border along the white edges. This is why I say it's a lot better to have a thicker border because it was very hard to cut down the foam to these very thin pieces and place them alongside the border. So I did double it up because the images that I had on the inside already had foam adhesive. Now, I didn't realize that for some odd reason my camera either stopped filming or it just cut off the, the video, which it's done to me in the past, but I didn't notice it right away. And so I didn't actually get to film this part of it, and I don't get to show you that, but I'll show you the card. I just put the sequence on top of the clear acetate paper, and then I stuck the background that I had created on top of that to make this card. And I just left the sequence at the bottom because I wanted it to be the water that was moving around and that's what they could shake. So here's the card, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, leave me a comment, please subscribe as well if you'd like to keep following my videos. And I hope this gave you guys some inspiration for some cards that you'd like to do. Thanks.